Yeah, uh, I, I think two drop balls right off the top of my head, Zach Bourne and uh, uh, Evan Spencer. Uh, I saw him jerk a couple passes, and that's something uh, when he has a nice stroke, uh, he's got he's as good a passer as I've ever seen. When he when a guy pops open, he wants to get it there so fast, his fundamentals kind of uh, get away from him. Uh, one time he scrambled out of a pocket instead of hanging in there with the uh, uh, little option route we ran to um, Philly Brown. So there, you know, I, he's going through some growing pains, and we have to get him through those growing pains real fast because uh, we expect more out of our quarterback. bunch of good players that try real hard and play real hard and um, I kind of anticipate and hope that you know coming to a school like Ohio State and getting these quality guys that we have so uh, the issues were not play hard or try hard if it is this would be not a good press conference today would have been an ugly team meeting and it wasn't we just got to coach better we got to <clears throat> we got to uh, adjust a little better and the players got to adjust a little bit too I mean so much was new I'm so glad to that, that I can't stand first games because uh, where do we eat? Are we going to the golf course? What shoes do we wear? What about this? Can I wear this? What about a visor? What about my parents' tickets? Or and instead of getting locked in on the game and and, and also with a new bunch of coaches. I mean, there's some. Uh, 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 I don't want to say issues because there were no issues at all, but just some growing pains as a staff that we have to get fixed. And so. Uh, very pleased. At the end of the day, I'm pleased with what happened. I'm pleased that we got thrown around a little bit in the first quarter. We're actually losing in our home stadium in the first quarter, and uh, yeah, I didn't like it at the time. But uh, now that you look back, it gives. Uh, I think everybody got kind of hit in the face a little bit and responded well. Probably a second after it happened, of knowing him, a big smile on his face, and. Uh, he just keeps walking by me, waiting for me to say, hey, great catch, and I just won't do it. I won't do it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Well, that's the, one of the things that I, as we get to know each other, when, the, when these kids come here, they, they're worried about making it. Tuesday's practice is really, really hard. So any thoughts of anything other than that, then practice will have to make them harder. So there's, there'll be no discussion about that. I certainly think he's one of those freaks of nature that has a lot of ability, then great things can happen to him. But that's not, we won't, there won't be no billboards posted anywhere, anything like that. Yeah, well, that, that was, uh, once again, absolutely. If, you mean, is that what you can expect to rest here on the one-yard line? No, we'll, we'll do some things different. But that was a tempo setter. That was a timeout. We called them together, and, and I wanted to see something happen. And we should have scored. We, we missed a block. And the offensive line can't miss a block down there. So uh, to answer your question, will we change things up down there? Absolutely. Will there be times where you have to turn around, hand the ball to your tailback, and get one yard? A lot, yeah. So that was just that was the most disappointing point of the whole day. And we'll get that fixed. Went pretty good. I, uh, we didn't have the substitution. I, I don't think we had maybe one offensive penalty for the day, which for a new staff and an up-tempo, we're all signals now. There's no uh, other than the many huddles we do on the short yardage, or and that won't just be short yards. We'll do that other times. But I was, I think Tom Herman and, and the coaching staff did a very good job. Uh, I mean, it's completely, I mean, you talk about 180. That's completely different. The tempo, the offensive line, you know, to not have a, I think we had one false start, and that's you know that's pretty good when you're changing up cadence and you're doing all the different variety of things we've done. So I'm very pleased. It's a long way to go, but very pleased with the first game. I want to say we're 30 snaps. I don't have that in front of me. Um, um, we were dropping him a lot, and I asked the same question. You know, I didn't expect him to play that much, but they gave us a certain personnel grouping where uh, we just weren't comfortable with Noah Spence going in there and doing as much dropping because we were dropping eight some, and he was better at that. So he played a little bit more. Uh, he was very sore yesterday, and I'll find out more tomorrow. They're off today. I'll see him today, but uh, I would anticipate that the rust is officially knocked off him and, and he'll be ready to go. He was in a good mindset after that game.
We did once we changed formations. Uh, the team we played did a very good job. We have a base formation that we use, and we have a lot of different answers out of it, and they defended it pretty good. So someone asked me the question about how our staff responded. We went fairly quickly to another, and that's called adjusting. When you hear what, the, what adjustments a uh, team makes, we could probably maybe done a little faster, uh, but they defended a certain formation pretty well and they defended our base plays pretty well. So they did a good job scouting our op my offense or our offense for the last 10 months. And so you have to have counter options, and uh, we went to them fairly quickly. And the big hits we had were off a, a different set, different formations. I don't have a set number, but you know, we, uh, we, we really try to evaluate who can make a big play. You know, I ask the question all the time, who can physically score a touchdown? And I'm not saying if the other guy falls down, but who can, you know, I didn't know Devin Smith could. I have not seen it. Now I know he can. And uh, uh, I'm not talking about the one against Wisconsin where a guy scrambles around and catches and falls down. I mean, go make a touchdown. I think Carlos Hyde can. I think Braxton Miller can. And, uh, you know, to see Evan Spencer go up, we had to see him do that. You know, so we have, we're trying to still figure out who can score a touchdown, not who can score, but who can go make a touchdown. And uh, that's what we're trying to still figure out. I think the good news is I think we got a couple guys who can do that. Absolutely. Uh, I've never been down on Devin at all. He plays like a very young player that just had a new offense thrown in his lap. And a uh, uh, great kid to coach. He was also running track in the spring, if you remember, so we didn't have him all the time. And when we got him, playing receiver in this offense is real. I mean, it's not one of those, hey, you stand out there and we'll flip you the ball once in a while. You are very involved in blocking. All the perimeter, all those perimeter runs, when Braxton Miller takes it 60 yards and no one touches his jersey, there's something other than Braxton Miller running down the field. There's a bunch of guys, uh, 10 other guys have to grade out a winner to have that happen. So playing receiver in this offense, this, that's a real, that's a grown man's job. And uh, he's really coming on. And to answer your question, Tim, I think we all know the answer to that. Is there ignition plays in young players' careers that make them get that confidence? Nothing greater than confidence, nothing worse than false confidence with an athlete. And uh, I think we all now, and you know, I know I have confidence in him. He's good. But more importantly, he's got some confidence in himself. I'd say B, uh, good effort, good effort, some good efforts blocking downfield, still had some uh, missed assignments and some things that we have to get better at, but uh, a good solid B. Well, you got to get the personnel grouping in. The uh, offense coordinator, Tom Herman, calls a play. Uh, Ed Warner, we don't have much conversation during a series. It's all you know, when the defense is on the field, that's when I'll ask, give me the script for the next series. So I want to know the next five plays, what are we thinking? And he'll start rattling them off. I'll say, no, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's let's stay out of that formation, which we did, and we got going. Um, so the conversation is, give me uh, whatever personnel grouping and the play. And then I'll usually, you know, I'm really the only one talking to Tom and say, run the counter, run the power, run the three-level pass, take the shot, those type of things. And so uh, that, that's the kind of communication, but it's real fast. That's as fast as I've ever been a part of. We practiced, yeah, we did it a lot. Of, we did a lot of that in a uh, training camp, you know, where he was on the headsets, and I'd stand right next to him and say, you know, I'm not going to phys physically call the play. I'm going to say, take the, and we got to think a lot alike, like take the shot. That means we should know what that shot is. Run the reverse, run the. So it went very good for the first time.